Greetings and welcome to Agrama. I am pleased that Starfleet sent such a notable officer as its representative in this conference. Please enter a standard orbit and transport down to these coordinates. This meeting may mark the beginning of a new day for the Federation and the Romulan Star Empire. Delegates are already in the conference room. My aide, Jevam, will take you there. I have some business to attend to before we begin. It is agreeable to meet with you. You have my people's enduring gratitude for how you handled that matter with Ambassador Soketh. This is another trying time for Vulcan. The Romulan Star Empire blames the Vulcan Science Academy for the Hobus supernova that destroyed their world. They are utterly intransigent in this misguided belief, despite the fact that Ambassador Spock warned them of the danger and ultimately gave his life to stop the loss of even more worlds. Romulans are a most illogical people. Sometimes I find it hard to believe we were once a single species. I am so pleased to see the Federation recognize and attempt to rectify its past mistakes. I knew that a people as clever as yours would realize eventually that it is folly to antagonize the Romulan Star Empire. I am also confident it will only be a matter of time before you realize that you have made a grievous error by allying yourselves with terrorists, scoundrels, and thieves. The sooner you renounce your poorly considered alliance with the so-called Romulan Republic, the sooner we will be able to come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. Welcome to Agrama. Isn't this a lovely facility? You must tour the atrium later. Hard to believe this system was infested by Orion pirates not long ago. You know, some of my colleagues were against this meeting, but I lobbied for it. I said the entire Federation cannot be as blind as the people who were at the farce at Kittimer. If you just see the problems the Romulan Republic are causing, I'm sure you can persuade your government to reconsider their rash choice and sever their agreements with these rebels.
We are so pleased that you were able to attend our conference. The Empire was quite dismayed at your decision to support the terrorist insurgents rather than the rightful government, the Romulan people. So much for your vaunted prime directive. In any case, neither of us benefit from extended conflict. So, despite your questionable alliances, we are choosing to open negotiations in hopes of normalizing relations between the Federation and the Romulan Star Empire. I thought the Federation's alliance with the Romulan Republic would be the end of any meaningful dialogues with Empress Sela. After all, she considers the Republic to be a terrorist organization. She may have an ulterior motive for inviting us here, but we had to take the chance that Sela's offer to negotiate is sincere and act in kind. The Federation must pursue every avenue for peace. can be so difficult to deal with, especially these Imperials. They are forever setting traps, twisting words, and jockeying for advantage. Even a conference with the Klingons would be preferable. At least you know where you stand with Klingons. I am reminded of a line I read once in an ancient Earth text. Hide a knife behind a smile. Every smile here hides a knife. I apologize for the interruption. My name is Tokath. I am one of the stewards here. We've had a slight complication with the dietary requirements of some of your delegation. Could I borrow you for a moment so we can clear this up? says you can be trusted, and that is enough for me. There's more going on here than a diplomatic conference. Sela has no interest in courting the Federation. So why is she suddenly doing so now? We're going to find out what she's up to. The lower level of this facility is off-limits to everyone but the Empress and her aides. But that access hatch right over there opens up to a maintenance tunnel that leads down. The doorway is guarded, so while I distract the guards, you sneak through the door.
northeast corner of the room. There will be a security room near the exit of the maintenance tunnel on the level below us. Access one of the consoles there. Maybe you'll learn more about what she's doing. I need to get back to the reception before I'm missed. But I should be able to cover your absence for a few minutes. More than that, then you're on your own. I should have known the Federation would send spies instead of diplomats, and you call us treacherous. No matter. You may have destroyed these weapons, but my fleet is already en route to Vulcan. You cannot stop what has begun. Guards! Capture the intruders!
You've made quite an impression. Good work on disabling the transport in here. Your ambassadors are safely back on their ships, but I had to blow my cover to get them there. Now it's time for me to get out while I still can. Farewell.
I had not expected to hear from you so soon. Was your mission successful? I should have expected as much. You cannot trust them. I never do. I am contacting all available ships. We will meet you there. Thanks to your warning, we were able to divert some ships to defend Vulcan. I have come to personally command the defense. The other forces have already been briefed. Your role in this battle will be to defend the science vessels that have set up a tachyon detection grid to detect any cloaked Romulan ships. We cannot allow any enemy ships to slip through. The ships maintaining the grid will be priority targets for the Romulans, but they must remain in position or the grid will collapse. That is why I need you to protect them. How can you fight what you cannot see? Surrender now, and I may give you a merciful death. Our tachyon detection grid has revealed scout ships attempting to penetrate the perimeter.
finish your assault. Science vessels, maintain formation. All other forces converge on the Romulan fleet.
Romulus will be avenged. There will be blood for blood, death for death. My world is gone. I will not rest until Vulcan suffers the same fate. Indeed. Then why does Starfleet use ships equipped with weapons of mass destruction? Why did the Vulcan Science Council willfully refuse to assist us when there was a chance to save our world? Every sorrow in my life can be laid at the feet of the Federation. Thank you.